So now the dude, he tried to play the victim. Oh no. <gasps> so he's oh, gonna kill me. Yeah, but no, but this is what you wanted. Yeah, yeah. This is what you, I tried yeah, to walk. This is what you energy. wanted. Black and stuff, you just don't want that kind of pressure. Yeah, especially, yeah. you know, when your old girl always keep your own point about, yo, you know, when you come in contact, you know, my old girl always kept on point. Even my homeboys, my home, my mama knew you. Like if somebody sold dope down the street, she say, "Hey, tell your boy don't be over there doing. They gonna do a stain, do a stain." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah my yeah. girl, when she was, she was down by. I mean, like full flat tires. Yeah, that's that's my best friend. But uh, and how I got to wrestle, kind of tried to kind of get off. So got to this fight. Okay, got arrested. I go to jail. So you did go to jail. I did go to jail. Dang. But it's hard to bear. But and, and, but mind you, I told the dude. While we're sitting there, I said, you know, wherever I find you, I'm going to kill you. Ooh. I said, wherever I find you, I'm going to kill you, bro. And I mean that. Mm. Went to jail. Straight high got to wrestling. This dude named Soul Man Alex G. Shout out to Soul Man Alex G. My, what his name was? Soul Man Alex G. Soul L Man. Shout out to Soul Man Alex G. He's okay. my best friend. He's my mentor. He's everything. He's like a sensei. That's okay. the best way I can put it. Okay. So he seen me in there one day, I mean, he seen me in jail and passing on whatever he was on transport. He said, hey, what you know about wrestling? So we just got on the subject wrestling. He was shocked of some of the knowledge I knew and woo, okay. woo, woo, woo. So he was like, oh, well, I train professional wrestlers. I'm like, oh, you train? He's like, no, serious, I train for, I got you serious about it, let me know. So, got out of jail. About a week later, I hit him up. I was like, man, I want to check out your wrestling school. Now keep in mind, let me tell you what look at it at, sis. It was right off of Holiday Beach Boulevard. Y'all remember where the Bang Bros, uh, I don't know. But I know where Holiday Oh, you're not from Florida. Oh, I know where Holiday Beach Boulevard. You know, but okay, so that's where the school was set up at, by right okay. by this like porn thing. So I come in, dude, I come in, Rusty show. Brooks. The great Rusty Brooks sitting at the corner is this other dude I know I used to see back in the day in the NWA and they sitting around so they got the students bumping doing all this shit and I'm looking like bro like I thought you just jump out the ropes and stuff. Uh, oh no. Oh no. It's no. Real training. It's yes, real. it's the real motherfucking McCoy. Yeah. So uh he tried me out and he was like, damn, you know like you know, they don't want to tell you if you got talent or whatever, but he, he kind of looked at me and was like, well, if you serious about this, if you really serious about this, I'll get you in there. Now, keep in mind, they don't tell you for the first two weeks, they going to beat your ass. Ooh. They want to see how bad you want it. So, every day I came and I got my ass whooped. And they say, if you want it, you'll come back. You get what I'm saying? Like, you just, it's just something, like, they, they break you. It's kind of like the military. They break you in order to build you back up. Build you back up, okay. So, uh, came back, Jesus, oh, so you, 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 you really right. got it. Yeah, yeah, you said about it. I was like, yes, sir. I say, my dream is to get to the WWE. Okay. He was like, well, if you serious, I got you. So, training went in, boo, 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 boo. Oh, God, it's so good. So, anyway, uh, I get to the point where I'm, I'm pretty good. I can, I can, do a match, I can, you don't have to do much, whatever needs to be done, I, I can do it or whatever. So this promoter, cause you know, of course in this business you're gonna run across a lot of racism. Of course, definitely, so, especially in- Me personally, yeah. I believe, and there's a time and place for everything. I don't believe who, however you live, like there's certain things you just don't do in front of children. It's just certain, I just, it's how I'm set up. Okay. So uh, this dude didn't want to book me cause what he wanted me to do was he wanted me to wrestle, but he wanted me to wrestle in a dress and makeup. Dang, boy, they was really trying to... I was like, man, man, let, me tell you, let me tell you how crazy the part, let me tell you how crazy it was, how he ran across this. Back in the day, how I used to pay for my wrestling gear and certain stuff, I used to entertain at this club called 21s okay. in Holiday, okay. which that was, that life was separate okay. from this life, the you know yeah. what I'm saying? But back in the day, you know, we used to have I think it was MySpace, was it that? MySpace? Definitely was MySpace. You remember MySpace? Listen, my so, MySpace my before I deleted it. Uh, shit! I had Lil Wayne and Ollie Pop playing, that's all I can remember, but that was the last song on my MySpace. Back, background. Yes. Yes. And like, my, 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 my MySpace was more for like the LGB community bookends okay. and all that stuff. So this guy go on there when they yes. just, he knows it. Hold on, hold on, before you go further. Because <laughs> I hear you saying LGB and you stop it. I don't know about all. I don't know what all the all the numbers and all that. Oh, okay, all right, all right. I, 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 I heard you stop a couple times. Yeah, that, 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 Why you not 
said T and Q. I missed it. Question mark is sometimes why. I, I I don't know. I just I don't get it all. This this is totally yeah. Okay, this so, is not okay. only that. This is totally different. Okay. I'm old school. Like listen, I was taught you whatever your business, your business. The world ain't got to know you know certain ways. You know in you adjust to certain situations. Like I'm not gonna go in church with yeah. no peak cab. I'm just, just yeah, yeah, listen. Yeah, the yeah. certain stuff you just not gonna do. Yeah, yeah. Period. Yeah, yeah. So uh, and dude found my page and oh bro. I see sweets and oh he's dressed up like a woman out there. and I mean dude it was like more or less you know like when you're good or when you're good at something people see something in you people do everything to take you down. Okay, gotcha. Now it was you as a per individual how strong your will is and what you will not allow to break you. Break you so yeah it was it was crazy at first and I wanted to beat his ass but you know, because like, no, you can't, like, can't jump on everybody. It's, you know, don't worry. Sure, get you, we gonna get you. Right. Get your makeup and a dress. Yeah, in, a, in, a ring. in the ring, in yeah, front of the right. kids. Right. I mean, I just feel like yeah, that's not children. Good. No, you don't. You don't do that. Like, certain, right, certain yeah. stuff you just don't do, or there's a certain way to go about doing. It. So the beautiful thing about it that I refuse, and uh, I want to say like a month later, we were. In this place called a Makali. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's like on the other side, like Bell Glaze, nah, the Hick Town. Never heard of it. So, this guy they had paid to come from Puerto Rico didn't make it, so they had to fill in. Okay. She had, and I got a chance to fill in. Now, people didn't really know me. The dudes in the locker room, they knew I was talented, but they didn't know how talented I was. Okay. Dude, I went in there, and basically, the whole match I just sold, selling is like, Getting punched and beat up and stuff, and like the fans were like, oh my god, you know, because we draw on the emotion of the people too. So, okay. to see people see me get beat up, like, no, no, people fell in love instantly that, that night. After you got beat up. <laughs> after what? I got beat up. <laughs> instantly that night. What? So then, you gotta uh, get beat up and get love. That, okay, that okay. crazy. So, uh, maybe like, in, again, like I say, with the wrestling business, there's a lot of racism. It, it's, the rest of the world. That, yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah. But right, we well, talking about wrestling right now. Right. Yeah. So you know, you know, I, I knew how to maneuver through certain stuff. So uh, I landed wrestling with uh, the Rock's uncle. His name okay. was Alpha. Okay. Alpha and Seeker, the Wild Samoans. So I get a chance to go and work out for him. Do a couple of matches. Dude falls in love. Okay. Wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. One night we in the locker room. Dwayne the Rock Johnson walks to the fucking dressing room. Oh my god. I almost did I was like, like oh, my, yeah, oh my god. It was just one of the moments and like very humble dude. Very yeah. humble came over, spoke his mom. I love his mom. His mom, oh she's a sweet lady. Lady Otta shot Lady Otta. But she she was like a driving force in trying to see my light shine. Raise a blade of wind